السلام عليكم اليوم حبيت نوري لكم واحد المحاضره اللي قامت بها مفكره امريكيه وهي كاتبه وكانت تعمل في السلك الدبلوماسي في امريكا حيث انها دارت مقارنه بين زوج دول تف جيران عندهم حدود ما بينهم وعندهم كثير من النقاط نتاع تشابه لكن لكن يختلفوا في نقطه مهمه جدا وهي الكرامه الكرامه والنف والنظره النظره يعني كيفاش ينظروا للحريه و الاستقلال كيفاش مختلف في هذه الزوج دول ونخليكم مع هذا الفيديو تابعوه والسلام عليكم Here in these two colonial maps behind me, we have two neighboring North African countries, Morocco and Algeria, remarkable for their differences, even though they share a border, a religion, languages, ethnic profiles, Arab and indigenous so-called Berber peoples live there, and so on. I'd like to show you two images to make those differences vivid. They'll also suggest the variety of experiences that fall under the label colonialism. Here we're in Algiers. After Algeria gained its independence from France in 1962, the brand new Algerian government sent back to France boatloads of statues depicting French heroes, including Joan of Arc, and directed instead statues of their own defiant heroes. Here we see, in downtown Algiers, Emir Abdelkader, the leader of Algerian forces fighting against the French invasion of 1830. He's striking a pose similar to those of French military equestrian statues that used to be located all over Algiers. Here, by contrast, is Casablanca, Morocco. When Morocco gained its independence from France in 1956, the statue of its most famous governor, a man called Leote, was moved a few hundred yards away from where it dominated the administrative center of Casablanca. Today, Marshal Leote is still there in the heart of the city, but he now sits discreetly behind a fence at the French consulate. Now, how do we explain the Algerian desire to obliterate the French presence though simultaneously imitating it, while the Moroccans gently pushed some evidence of their presence to one side. 